If you're a fan of YouTube and TikTok, you may have heard of Sneeko. He's been making waves lately with his viral videos, especially his commentary and motivational content. However, what's odd about Sneeko is that he seems to generate a lot of controversy and backlash drama. It turns out that he's made some sexist remarks and publicly spouted hateful and anti-Semitic rhetoric. It's especially frustrating when you consider that he's doing it all for fame and attention. It seems like he's willing to say anything to get people talking about him, even if it means perpetuating harmful stereotypes and beliefs. So, in today's video, we will take a look at how Sneeko tricked the whole internet, and we'll go through him getting into all the drama for fame and how much he makes out of it. But first of all, let's have a look at his earlier days and from where he started. Well, Sneeko, aka Nico Kendervalinthesi, was born on September 8th, 1998 in NYC and hopped on YouTube in 2013. So basically, at the start of his career, he was just playing video games like Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and putting them up on YouTube with his own commentary, where he'd talk about whatever was on his mind. Sometimes he'd come up with some deep stuff, like this video he made called Alter Ego. He basically called himself out for being too into himself and joked about whether he'd still be that way in a few years. He was like, you know when you see rappers and basketball players acting like they're the coolest and most important people ever just because kids love them? That's how I feel all the time. I feel like I'm pretty special and smarter than others. Dude, that's like so self-absorbed. Nevertheless, he quickly came to the conclusion that the gaming videos he uploaded to his channel were not leading to any increase in the number of subscribers. So he decided to modify the content of his channel and give it a new look. His very first proper video to go viral was posted in 2015, which is quite some time before he started producing the stuff he's known for today. So there's this video called How People View You, where Sneeko talks to the camera while cutting his hair and gets all philosophical about how we want others to see us. As a result of the video's popularity, Sneeko's material turned away from gaming and toward more commentary style videos regarding societal topics. Fans and newbies alike admired his reflective approach. And just so you know, when he started setting up his channel as a Call of Duty content creator, Mr. Beast was also doing the same thing, and they were tight homies. Even back in 2018, Mr. Beast would have Sneeko on his squad. But they later fell out, which according to Sneeko, he still regrets. So he switched up his main channel with some real life stuff, like the One Minute Podcast. People were really digging it because it was a new spin on street interviews. Sneeko's content underwent a significant change in the previous year as a result of his decision to start broadcasting live streams on YouTube in which he discussed contentious issues. He slowly fell down the red pill rabbit hole of Andrew Tate and adjacent characters, eventually spouting inflammatory messages attacking women in specific groups as seen by his enthusiasm to join Yi, previously Kanye West's, election campaign. So, this dude was being a total jerk on stream by doing some really inappropriate stuff and being mean to a female YouTuber. Lots of other creators were like, yo, ban this guy from the platform. He has made explicit political content after responding to far-right author Matt Walsh's transphobic documentary on stream, as well as bringing on Nick Fuentes, a self-avowed white nationalist neo-Nazi, on his channel. Aside from that, Sneeko already had a sizable fanbase before his arrival on TikTok in 2019. As a result, it should not come as a surprise that he immediately rose to prominence on the platform for uploading videos. After posting stand-up comedy videos and interviews with random people on the street, he quickly became famous on TikTok, but not everyone liked the things he posted. The content that he posted centers on a variety of debatable subjects, such as, do women like to be catcalled? Is it okay to be fat? And why men and women aren't equal? So in this way, he intrigues everyone on the internet to watch his videos and also reply to him and share it because of the controversies he created and because of his probing of the general population. A number of his videos went viral due to high user engagement, which has resulted in millions of views and comments being posted on them. 
Due to tricking the whole internet, he was able to attract 1.22 million subscribers to his YouTube channel alone at Sneeko and has made around $300,000. However, his method of intriguing people was also caught by YouTube, and he was given multiple warnings, but didn't stop. So, due to consistent user violations, Sneeko got banned from YouTube on October 3rd, 2022, because of his debatable subjects and connection with Andrew Tate. After being kicked off Twitch after just a day of broadcasting, he now only broadcasts on Rumble, with a drastically reduced audience and has no plans to return to YouTube as he doubles down on his views. So a few days later, after he got banned, he went on Twitter and posted a picture of some streamers and YouTubers who, he said, were pushing for him to be canceled. The picture has individuals like Hassan Abi, Moist Critical and Ethan Klein. So the tweet didn't exactly blow up, but Charlie saw it and his response went viral, starting a never ending drama from which both have gained and attracted major views. Charlie has quoted Sneeko, referring to him as soy and a pitiful little worm. He also brought up Sneeko's fondness for a very contentious Netflix video called Cuties, which has been dubbed pedophilic by many on the internet and elsewhere. Currently, the post has over 25 million views and roughly 362.9 thousand likes, although Sneeko's initial tweet only has 4,000 likes, despite having more views. Charlie was like, dude, chill out, you're being way too sensitive right now. Dude, I totally ragged on you for watching your girl get with a bunch of other dudes, and I also dissed you for sticking up for that messed up stuff with kids. Dude, that's not cancelling, that's just straight up disrespecting you for being a pathetic loser. Moist critical in Sneeko's Twitter beef on March 12th. It was so intense that Moist dropped a video on March 15th, totally roasting Sneeko, and it blew up big time. A couple of hours later, Sneeko replied to Moist Critical's tweet, Bro, you know deep down you wouldn't say that to my face. So, like, the drama between those two didn't stop. Moist Critical fired back at Sneeko and said he's been complaining about him for months. So, Charles called him a goofy NPC, and Sneeko was like, Dude, lots of people say that you're not special. He was like, if there's an issue, let's just solve it. Critical responded, nah, I have no beef with Sneeko. And that was that. He was like, yo, Sneeko brought it up first, so I had to clap back. However, Sneeko and Moist Critical finally squashed their beef after months of throwing shade on YouTube and Twitter. They had a one-on-one -on -one chat and pretty much worked out all the drama between them. So in this way, the two content creators have been taking shots at each other. It's been going on for months now, and it's pretty crazy. They've been throwing insults at each other and even at each other's partners over Twitter and on their streams. It's all just to attract and engage more followers, which is kind of ridiculous if you think about it. But the craziest part is that when they realized that no one was buying into their drama anymore, they decided to try another stunt and create another episode of Closing Together. It's like they're addicted to drama or something. And you know what's even crazier? Despite all the chaos and negativity, both of them have actually benefited from it in terms of gaining more followers and attention. And then there's Sneeko, who seems to have tricked the internet once again with his old strategy of creating drama to attract more followers. This time, he even managed to drag Charlie into it. It's pretty wild how people will do anything for attention these days. Well guys, that's about all for today's video about Sneeko and his tricking dramas. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. Moreover, if you are new and haven't subscribed to the channel yet, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any useful and informative daily videos. Thank you for watching and best of luck.